Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on implementing the recommendations put forth in the REMS TA Center's Developing Emergency Operations Plans EOPs K-12-101 training. This tutorial will provide a brief summary of the information presented during the event, details on how you may use the tools, resources, and continued support from the TA Center to implement the knowledge from the training session and a description of the process to complete the post work described by the master trainers during the training session. We will also discuss downloading the EOP Assist software tool. As you may recall, the training you attended was based on the recommendations put forth in the Guide for Developing High Quality School Emergency Operations Plans, also known as the School Guide. These recommendations for developing a comprehensive all hazards and high quality EOP included a review of the planning principles, an in-depth discussion of the six-step planning process, and a description of the 10 recommended functional annexes all schools should include with their EOPs. The school guide is accessible in PDF format as well as in step-by-step -step HTML format on the TA Center website at http colon forward slash forward slash rams.ed.gov forward slash K-12 Guide for Devel HQ School dot ASPX. The school guide is broken down into easily digestible parts, and you may access the information most relevant to your needs by selecting from the menu on the left, if you are accessing the school guide on a desktop, and the menu on the top, if you are accessing the school guide on a mobile device. The school guide also contains a closer look section on four key topics that support EOP development you may be interested in exploring. These include, but are not limited to, information sharing, Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act and Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, school climate, active shooter situations, and psychological first aid for schools. As you move forward in the planning process, you may find it helpful to complete some of the recommended post work. This will help build your familiarity with the materials and help you become comfortable with both the introductory and advanced topics discussed at the training you attended. 1. An online course. You may complete the Developing Emergency Operations Plans EOP's K-12-101 introductory course to re-familiarize yourself with the information presented during the training. If you are already comfortable with the introductory material, you may wish to complete an in-depth review of a different topic, such as on developing a food contamination annex, or one on planning for large events. 2. Webinar. We also encourage you to view our archived webinars and access the related resources for the topic of your choice. 3. Finally, if your school does not currently have an EOP, we recommend you access the REMS TA Center's EOP Assess, a tool designed to help assess your understanding of the elements critical to the process of creating and maintaining a high-quality EOP. And if your school already has a plan, you may wish to access EOP Evaluate to evaluate your plan against the recommended six-step planning process to determine if there are areas where your existing EOP may be improved. The TA Center also develops a variety of resources and web pages to assist schools with their emergency management efforts. To help support implementation of the information presented at the event, we offer resources on a variety of threats and hazards that may impact schools, including on infectious disease planning and responding to technological hazards. We also offer an interactive map where you may search for state-level information on safety and emergency management from your state. Finally, we offer a variety of publications produced in collaboration with practitioners in the field to disseminate information on lessons learned, success stories, helpful hints, and other topics. As you initiate next steps in developing, revising, and maintaining your school EOP, you may also be interested in accessing our toolbox at http colon forward slash forward slash rems.ed.gov forward slash toolbox.aspx. This is a virtual library of tools developed by school emergency managers in the field containing resources pertinent to the needs of schools and their community partners as they engage in the process of school emergency management planning. And if you are interested in submitting a tool or template for inclusion in our toolbox, 
please fill out our toolbox submission form available at http colon forward slash forward slash rems.ed.gov forward slash resource submission forward slash resource submissions dot ASPX. Finally, you may request a second in-person training at your school. To learn more about each training currently offered or the intended audience, as well as to request a notification when a suspended training becomes available, please visit our Trainings by Request webpage at http colon forward slash forward slash rams.ed.gov forward slash ta underscore trainings by request dot ASPX. At this stage, it is highly recommended you use EOP Assist our EOP generator tool that supports schools and districts in their efforts to create, revise, and update school EOPs. Regardless of where you are in the planning process, you will find it helpful to input your plan data into EOP Assist and walk through the six-step planning process step-by-step -step with supporting resources. In the end, you will be able to export your customized school EOP in the format recommended in the school guide and on which information was provided at the training. The RAMS TA Center has prepared a number of resources for potential users to learn about EOP Assist's features and functions, such as an archived webinar, PowerPoint presentations, and a flyer. In addition, we provide enhanced support on installing and utilizing EOP Assist, including video tutorials, user and installation manuals, and live telephone support. You will also want to schedule your planning team meetings for the year. Different aspects of the planning process require the input of stakeholders with expertise and experience on a variety of topics, so it will be important to plan ahead and lay out a schedule in advance so everyone is comfortable with expectations and can set aside time in their schedules accordingly. The REMS TA Center Community of Practice, or COP, is a collaborative of practitioners with the collective aim to enhance the abilities of schools, EOPs, and implement comprehensive emergency management planning efforts through the sharing of ideas, experiences, lessons learned, and by engaging with one another on these important topics. To join the community, please visit the COP webpage at http colon forward slash forward slash rems.ed.gov forward slash COP forward slash default dot ASPX. This concludes our tutorial for today. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact the REMS TA Center's help desk by email at info at remstacenter.org or by toll free at 1-855-781-REMS-7367 during regular business hours. We wish you all the best for your future emergency management planning efforts.